This is higher education diplomas in sports. So this is a presentation regarding the HNC and HND offerings that we as Welch College provide for sport. Um, it's going to be myself, Dale Bond and James Price, both sports lecturers and the main sports lecturers on this particular course, or these two particular courses. Next slide. OK, so uh, le BTEC level four and five, higher national certificate and diplomas in sport are broken down into a single uh, one year and two year courses. So over the two years, if you apply for the HND, you'll be provided with a level four and level five. So year one is the level four HNC. Uh, we go through the units in a GIF, but it starts off with level one H, uh, year one, level four HNC, uh, then a year two, level five HND, which is the equivalent to a foundation degree. Uh, and again, we'll talk a little bit more about that later on as to kind of progression routes. Uh, it's eight units per year and two externally assessed units, uh, one in each year. So in the first year, you'd have one and in the second, year you'd have another. A mix of theory and practical content and is suitable for students aged 18 and above. So we've put the information for the initial first year, so it gives you an understanding as to what you will cover at level four HNC. OK, so the externally assessed unit is the project management unit, OK, uh, which comes as it, it starts off halfway through the first semester and goes all the way through to the end of the first entire first year. So that's a large project that kind of encompasses everything you learn across all units. Uh, you've got a physical activity, lifestyle and health. So that's a lot for, the, for individuals who look to work in sports development or as a personal trainer or, or that sort of field. Sporting landscape, again, sports development, looking at different and it's linked quite well to inclusion in sport, which is a little bit lower down. Anatomy and physiology, basic, basic um, and advanced anatomy and physiology and how we apply it then to working with athletes and non-athletes within the sporting industry. Uh, work exposure, so you would be expected to take part in a work placement. Uh, that can be over the whole breadth of the year or it can be in a small condensed chunk, but we'd expect you to to work as a work ex exposure unit. We've got technology and sport. Now that is the history and application of advancing technologies within the sporting field. So this could be things from working with video and analytics software, or it could be as simple as how tennis rackets have changed for the last 50 years. Uh, and the final one I haven't mentioned is nutrition. So that's for individuals looking to have a nutrition career and that progression route through to things like nutritionists or working with individuals with extensive health conditions. There you go. So uh, entry requirements, GCSE grade four or above in English and maths. That's a, a basic requirement and 120 UCAS points. Uh, that works out as I know from, from BTEC side things, pass, pass, pass. Um, I believe it's high C's, low B's for, for uh, A-levels. And the expectation in terms of being in college is, or university, is two days a week, two solid days, and then a single day for work exposure per week. Perfect. Uh, so progression routes. Uh, progression routes would take us from HNC to HND. So that's level four to level five. So if you want, if you really wanted to carry on from the first year, because you can just do one year, uh, to the second year, the progression would be HNC to HND. And then from the HND, you can choose to do a third year, a top up degree to a BSc honours, which is a bachelor in science honours degree at a university of your choice uh, or one that we are affiliate, affiliated with. So as part of the HND and HNC, you can join the academies of sport. So we have, as it stands, three different academies. We have the Football Academy, uh, which is at Trowbridge and Lackham, uh, Rugby Academy and Cricket Academy. We train twice a week and we play um, on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, the competitive fixtures. Now cricket's a little bit different because you don't play that during the winter for obvious reasons. So that comes towards the end of the uh, the second or the third semester with, uh, sorry, sorry, second semester with the, the university. Um, and you, you take part in associated college league cups and matches, regional and national. We have a whole performance program, strength and conditioning of the teams, individuals and uh, the club itself. And we always analyze opportunities. So we have analysis opportunities with the academies. So 
individuals that are have an interest or an extensive interest in analysis or looking to do sports science or any kind of external roles when you finish the, the course with uh, within the analysis field or video analysis, we would give you the opportunity to work with the academies and external partners on those. Hi, my name's James. I'm one of the lecturers, as Dale said, on uh, on the HE programme. Uh, I'm just going to finish off these this slide as we go through. So the placement opportunities that we, we look to give you. So Dale's already spoke about our sports academy programmes and the opportunity to do placements within within the sports academy programme as well, looking at analytics uh, and the strength and conditioning side of it. Alongside you'd work with our coaches um, for rugby, football, if that's something you're also interested in as well. But we also offer you placement opportunities outside of the college. So we work closely with Melksham Town, um, Bath Ladies, Bradford City uh, Town to look at the performance analysis and, and the coaching side, if that's something that you're looking into in the future. Uh, we also work with Chippenham Rugby Club and Trobers Rugby Club. Again, exactly the same thing, looking at the performance analysis and looking at the coaching side of things um, for their youth teams, developing youth teams or alongside um, their men's teams, their second teams, first teams, to give you that experience, to give you that opportunity to then build on your qualification and give you more options going forward into, into job roles. Next slide, please. So other things we offer alongside our course. So we don't just go through the HE um, work. We don't just focus on the work side. We want to offer you as much as possible that will give the opportunity to improve um, your chance of getting jobs outside uh, or after the the qualification. So we look at doing specific industry visits to Swindon Town to do some performance testing, looking at their and joining with their performance team to see how a professional club would use the analytics and use their strength condition to help aid the performance of uh, of their first team. We also go to Bath Rugby Club to do the same sort of thing, have a look round Bath Rugby and what they do within their coaching, but also look at things like their foundation who go and do sports development and work with schools um, and rugby clubs to develop rugby within those places, as well as looking at university visits, because that's something that you guys might want to do in the future um, after the H&D to go on and develop your, your qualifications. Within our own qualifications, we have a lot of different technology and a lot of different equipment that we use, which is different to other universities or any of the university centres. So we have player tech, GPS, performance and analytics. Um, so if you watch professional football, rugby teams, that little, the square thing they have on the middle of their back, which analyses their performance, analyses how far they run, top sprint speed, um, impacts they're taking, all of that stuff, you'll get access to that and work with that within our academies and alongside your curriculum. We also have Huddle Video Performance Analysis. So this is a software which helps you break down videos and improve the performance analysis of the video. So you'll look at specific parts of the game. You can take that away and then give it on to coaches so they can analyze that further in further detail. Um, at our Salisbury campus, we have our Sports Performance Laboratory, which we'll be using throughout, especially within units like technology which monitors stuff like VO2 max, tracks performance um, across a number of different sports and looks at how we can improve VO2 max and fitness within within, athlete, within our athletes. Um, and then we have stuff within our lessons that we use for things like anatomy and physiology, where we have our virtual reality headsets, where we can go through and break down the body um, in a lot more specific way than other places might do it. So across all our lecturers, we have a number of different roles, a number of different um, qualifications and experiences that we've had throughout throughout uh, our lives, really. Um, so we can focus on a number of different areas throughout uh, across all our lecturers. So Dale is strength conditioning. He looks at sports science and performance analytics, and he's worked with that within that within professional clubs and outside of professional clubs then, and has brought that experience within to the college. We have other lecturers who are coached in uh, high-end football teams and coached with rugby teams and looks at those structures within the academies to develop our own academies and help you guys to, to develop that going forward. Myself, I am sports development and sports psychology. So studying sports development, studying sports psychology at the moment 
and look at how NGBs work to develop those sports in specific ways. Um, and we just have that that experience within those industries, such as personal training, such as elite sports clubs, such as sports science within um, one of our lecturers and leisure management. So we have that breadth of experience to help everyone develop on their qualification to get them get the most out of it. So this is a little case study um, for one of our students who's been with us for for a few years now. He's this is Brett. He started out on our our BTEC level three course at, at Lackham and decided to go on to do um, his level four and his H and C this year and will be moving into his H and D next year. Um, he's currently doing some placement um, for Melksham Town Football Club within their performance analysis and he's doing uh, a lot of their analysis and building their their programs and building their uh, feedback to give to coaches. Um, throughout these throughout his work placement so i think one of the main things in the first paragraph especially is the relationship that we build between lecturers and feeling really comfortable within that environment in he that the lecturers want to get to know you we want to know what the best routes are for you after your qualification we want to make sure that we know the best way to improve your education and get your grades and your your qualification to the best it possibly can be so I think that's something that's really important that we provide those opportunities for you to keep developing and we want you to keep developing throughout this program. Um, within the highlights of, of his year, so we look at looking at how the different ways that we try and teach. So we're not very orthodox in the way we teach. We, we go outside the box. We try and do stuff like our virtual reality headsets. We'll get you guys doing podcasts. We'll get you making your own programs, anything like that, to make sure that you experience those things so you can use those in the future. And we want you guys to, as we spoke about before, have opportunities to go to those placements with Melksham Town, as, as Brett has with this, to develop your experience, to develop your knowledge, um, and to see if it's something that you actually enjoy at the end of the day and something that you actually want to go into going forward. Um, and as Brett said at the end, consider valuable experience which may boost his future opportunities in the analysis field, which is exactly what we want. We want you guys to have that experience. We want you to boost your confidence um, within those fields. Perfect. So the big thing that we want from you within our university is to develop skills and qualification to give you that job role and give you the opportunity to get the best job roles you want in the future. So we don't just look at the qualification as such. We want to give you tasks and opportunities to develop your skills, your communication skills, your team working skills, your leadership skills, um, giving yourself that independence to meet deadlines. Give yourself that independence to go out and find your own workplace and do your own um, do your own work within other external partners, giving you that responsibility that you're going to get in that work placement uh, in the next few years. So that's something that we really want to want to push forward within our programs. Um, and the final part is the different knowledge and learning that um, all our lecturers have. OK, so we, we've already talked about the different experience and the different qualifications we've had and the lecturers always work together and we always teach on different units that are going to be more specific to them. So make sure that you get we give you the opportunity to to get the best knowledge out of the best lecturers um, and to give that opportunity to learn in the best way possible. If you do have any questions, you're, you're more than welcome to um, contact the college or contact uh, Dan and myself and the college will get in touch with us. So if you do have any other questions, um, please don't hesitate contact. Thank you very much for, for listening. Goodbye.